Waves sun and tan surfers. It could be Hawaii, Osgor, or Bali. Except here the water isn't salty, and the closest ocean is 500 kilometers away. Welcome to Montreal, the capital of river surfing. Over the past five years, rapids in the St. Lawrence River have attracted more and more amateur surfers. The river waves have become so popular that surfers now have to queue up at the best rapids, but it could be worse. For the ocean to produce waves, there has to be a storm, so you might wait two months without any waves at all. You can imagine that as a surfer, you're there, you wait and wait and wait. In Montreal, it's incredible. The waves are here all the time. This South African, a three-time world champion kayaker, was the first to have tackled the St. Lawrence on a surfboard back in 2002. Today he trains about 1,000 students each year. Demand is so high that his school is constantly turning people away. It's the fear of surfers everywhere, that everybody comes to the same spot and has to wait a half hour between each wave. That's why we try to keep this location under wraps. It's not only in Montreal that people surf river waves. From Munich to Geneva and Turin, new enthusiasts are hitting the water. Experienced surfers also turn out, seeking a rush away from the ocean, like this 59-year-old Australian who first came to Canada in 1972. The best of both worlds, huh? living in the city and, uh, <laughs> and surfing. Yeah, it's great. The end of summer won't stop these surfing fanatics. Some still come out in the winter months, even if they have to steer through ice. <laughs> 